Hi everyone, in this video I want to go over some of the spacing that you will encounter in this type of letter. This one happens to be a cover letter um, and there are different standards um, that are in play as far as um, you know how you do your spacing. This is just one of the ways to do it but um, you do want to adhere to certain spacing whenever you're dealing with a cover letter or any other type of business document. Okay, so this is Project 2B cover letter, and this is the finished uh, document the way it should look. At the beginning, you're going to put in, um, this would be your information, so you're basically making yourself like a little um, um, heading information up here, okay, kind of like a letterhead. So you'll go ahead and put that in, put the um, this line in which is through the borders and shading dialog box then what you want to do is let's see on page 141 they have you actually change the default spacing in the document to no paragraph spacing so so let me go ahead and show you in uh, just a default document I just uh, copied some information in here but you can see that the spacing in this document looks a little bit different if I click on the spacing here I'm going to open up the page um, the paragraph uh, dialog box I'm on the home tab and then I clicked on the little launcher button here you can see that the default spacing is eight points after the paragraph and multiple line spaces at 1.08 that's the default setting but in a business document we want the spacing, the line spacing to be just single spacing. So again on page 141 they have you go to the design tab and then in the paragraph spacing um, in the I should say document formatting group you click on the paragraph spacing button and you're choosing no paragraph space. That takes out the default and just puts everything just at that one um, you know just single spacing in the document so make sure to do that um, and then the other thing that you want to do on page 146 in activity 2.16 they show you how to begin the spacing um, in your document so they have you go to the first um, line here and then you're pressing enter one two three inserting the date here and then you're pressing enter again one two three four that's where you're starting to type in um, the information, the inside address, and then you're putting a blank line in between the inside address and the salutation. Don't forget your little colon there. And then a blank line in between each one of the paragraphs. Okay. Do take a look on page two point or um let's see, sorry, page 147, figure 2.24, because that also shows you this type of spacing. So again, make sure you have your show hide um, button clicked on so you can see it, and then just adjust your spacing accordingly. So your date should be sitting off here by itself, and then your inside address should start on the fourth line below the date, okay? And then obviously this other spacing. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to point out is for your table, when you click on your table, remember you get these extra tools up here, they want you to auto fit the contents of the table. So what you would do is go to the layout tab under table tools in the cell style, <laughs> sorry, cell size area, um, they want you to click on auto fit and then auto fit contents and that will go ahead and just auto fit the um, the size of the table and then I believe they also want you to yeah they want you to center the table so just make sure the table is still selected and you would come back to the home tab and click on center okay so I think that that covers some of the basics here oh and then at the bottom sorry you do want to make sure that you have the proper spacing in your closing as well so one space before your um, closing whether it's sincerely or best wishes or whatever it is and then after that you're going to press the enter key one two three four put in the person's name and in this case they also asked you to indicate the that there would be an enclosure and then don't forget your um, your footer down here at the bottom okay so I think that's it again just make sure to, to kind of keep keep in mind the the paragraph spacing and one of the um, starting places you want to go to the design tab and then click on paragraph spacing choose no paragraph space and then you're off to a great start 
Okay, I hope this was helpful. Take care.